South African Dove Award winner and Grammy-nominated singer and songwriter Neville D has teamed up with local well-known gospel singers Brian Temba, Lebohang Kapola and Vali Eaton for his new single, Behind the Scenes. On this latest project, Neville D returns to his soulful R&B sound to bring listeners a timely song with a message for the difficult season one might be facing. And he joins us now via Zoom to tell us more about this journey and more. Neville, very good morning to you. Thank you so much for joining us. Welcome to Morning Live. Absolutely. It's awesome. It's great to be here. It is indeed. Now, tell us more um, about what inspired you to write and release your new single, Behind the Scenes. Behind the scenes is really, it's really about, you know, we, we, we all know that God is working, at, at least if you believe in God, yeah, <laughs> then we all believe yeah. that it's working. And it's just sometimes you just can't see it. But that is the thing about, you know, believing in God. There's a lot that is happening behind the scenes that, you know, the Bible asks us to, to walk by faith and not by sight. So there's a lot that is happening that you don't see. Yeah. But, you know, being human beings, you know, it is sometimes hard to believe something if you don't see it. And this uh -huh. song is really to encourage people, you know, that even though you don't see it, you know, we walk by faith and uh -huh. not by sight. And God is working behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I've mentioned that you've worked with notable gospel names in the industry. Tell us more about that collaboration, uh, what really necessitated it and how did it come about? I'm a, I'm a, if you, if you know anything about me, you'll know I'm a serial collaborator. I yeah, love yeah. collaborations. I think there's just something about working with other people in any sphere, not only music. You know, sure. there's a different dimension. You know, there's different things that happen when you involve different people. So I love Brian, I love Lebo, and I love Valley. And it was just, I mean, they're just amazing, great singers. And when I thought of people to sing with me on this song, you know, their names came up and they did a marvelous job. Yeah. What exactly are you hoping the message contained in this song uh, would do for those that currently feel like they're losing the battle they're faced with? The, the, what I want people to understand, what I want people to hope for and to believe and to know is that even though you don't see it, even what you're looking at right now looks dim, it looks, you know, grim, it looks like what is happening. I want to encourage people that there's a whole lot that is happening behind the scenes and just keep the faith, keep the faith, keep on believing, keep on trusting, don't give up. That's what I want people. I want people to know that, you know, this song is about them not giving up. Don't mm -hmm. give up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, just uh, continue hanging in there uh, until something yeah. happens. Let's now take it back to when all this music passion started to, become, uh, to becoming an award-winning and nominated artist today. Uh, just take us through your journey in the industry. Sure. I grew up on the Cape Flats and um, church, church has been a part of my life all my life from as early as i can remember when i opened my eyes i was in a sunday school in viola park you know so a church has been my life and i knew from an early age i knew i wanted to make music obviously church and music goes hand in hand and uh, i sang you know from sunday school and in school you know primary school i knew i wanted to make music and i knew i wanted to sing the gospel of jesus christ so it was i mean the longest i've ever worked you know, it was nine months that I've ever done anything other than music. So all my life, I've done music and I knew I wanted to sing the gospel of Jesus Christ to the world. And um, yeah, so then, uh, I mean, traveling the world and, uh, you know, winning an award, whatever. Mm. That was just, you know, I'm happy for that. But it was never about that. It was always about singing the gospel and loving what I'm doing. And just when you look back at your music career, what would you point out as some of your proudest highlights of your career and um, if at all what is it that you love to change about it i, I don't want to change anything about it you know I, mm -hmm. I, I love everything that happened and it didn't come smoothly all the time you know sometimes it took longer than what i wanted to but you know just when you sing and when you minister to people and you see the joy that it brings to people and it see and you see the hope that it brings to people and bring out of people you know that is so satisfactory it, it gives you so much joy when you see that what you do and what you sing and what you minister and what you produce you know brings people closer to god it brings people closer to hope it brings people closer to believe that to me is the 
ultimate and I'll do it for as long as I'm alive. And as a singer and a songwriter, Neville, what are some of the issues that you, you know, aim to highlight through your music? So what do you minister about? I minister, I minister about, about what I believe. I believe that Jesus is the light of the world and I believe Jesus loves people, all the people. Jesus, that's what I want to, I always want to want to bring that out. I want, that's the good news of the gospel, that Jesus loves people. Doesn't matter if you're Muslim, gay, whoever you are, Jesus loves you. And that is what I would love to bring out in my music. So how would you describe your, your genre? My genre is, okay, so there's two things. I mm -hmm. mean, when people think of gospel music, they think of a certain style but gospel music is not uh, so much about the style as it is about the content the gospel is the good news so you can you can present the good news in any style and that is what i've done you know i've never limited myself to a specific style the content was always important the gospel in terms of the content but stylistically i love to do whatever i feel like so i will do rock i will do r and I will do hip-hop you know i would do folkish music i would do african music so i've never limited myself to one specific style so i don't know if that makes any sense but yeah it does it does it makes perfect sense actually because so, so many people have always boxed uh, in particular gospel music to a particular to a particular genre and some frown upon gospel music uh, you know fused with uh, rock with uh, hip-hop yeah. with r&b perhaps and uh, those people are misguided am i correct they are because when you look at i love the bible because the first gospels the first four the, f the four Gospels of the Bible, you will, you will read the Gospel according to Luke, the Gospel according to John, the Gospel according to... The whole idea is there's different styles and it is presented to a different audience in a different group. So there's some people who are going to like hip-hop. There's some people who are going to like R&B. There's some people who like traditional music. I mean, I love all of them. So don't, I would say, and you pick your style. You pick what you like. If you like the book of John, you like the gospel according to John, then go and read John. You know, you like the gospel according to Luke, then go and read Luke. So, and in the same way, if you like my style, if you like, I mean, name any name, you know, it's, there's so many different styles to pick from and don't, don't limit yourself to a certain style. Mm, point taken, Neville, point taken. How do your fans connect <laughs> with you? Awesome. So how do your fans connect with you on social media or oh, anywhere else? Fans. Sure. I'm Neville D Music across social media. Okay. So wherever you go, TikTok, Facebook, wherever, Neville D Music. All right, Neville D, keep on producing the music. We'll be listening. Thank you so much for chatting to us this morning. Thank you, Thank you so much. All right, joining us via Zoom was Grammy-nominated and Dove Award-winning singer and songwriter Neville D. And he's been speaking to us about his new single title, Behind the Scenes, that features Brian Temba, Lebohang Kapola and uh, Valley Eaton.